welcome back to our kitchen. kitchen. I'm Chef Eileen and this is little Chef Ian. <laughs> so today we're making our favorite gelatin, gelatin balls. balls. You can use them to decorate anything, to make anything, to do anything. For and cakes, for yeah. K-pop. And if you want to find out what we did with our gelatin balls, you can go to our Instagram. Yes. Yes. Name. It's Eileen and, and one. So these are the kitchen rules. Make sure you wash your hands, your working hair is clean, and you have adult supervision. Never turn on a stove without adult supervision because you can burn yourself, and that's bad. But the most important rule of the kitchen is... <laughs> the meat bell. <laughs> that's not correct, so let's try it again. The most important rule of the kitchen is... Sift the bus! Bam! Bam. So now, let's get cooking! So these are the ingredients. So we're gonna need... We're gonna need balloons. Um, wooden sticks. Yeah, wooden sticks. We're gonna need water. We're food gonna, coloring. Food coloring. We're gonna need a toothpick. You're gonna need your unflavored gelatin, gelatin packets. It can't have color because you're already gonna add the color and then a ball. And this is how. Um, so what are you gonna do? So why gonna, why you have balloons there? They look pretty cute. Because uh, we're gonna be making gelatin balls. Ooh. So we're gonna need the balloon to make the ball. The you need the shape. So we're oh okay. Them. So you can make any shapes you want. I mean any size, pretty much, not yeah. shape. Just the have, size. We have a small one in the front, and then we have these big ones. We have big oh, ones, okay. small ones, mediums. Okay, so show me how we're going to do it. So we're going to pour a packet. So this is how we're going to make our gelatin balls. We're going to put four tablespoons of water. Oh, wait, let me just go. Is it hot? No, it's... Room temperature? Yeah. yeah. Because you don't want it to be hot, because and you're going to put it in the microwave. So we need to first let it rest, I mean, absorb all the water. Yeah. They're not completely full, but okay. Then we're gonna add our... Gelatin. Our gelatin. Next one. Kinda looks like sugar. <laughs> okay, now add your color. Just a little. We don't want them too dark. Green. Too green. Just a little. I think that's enough, that's enough. Okay, put, put it on top of the eye. So now mix the gelatin. <laughs> don't shake it too much because we don't want too much bubbles, too many bubbles. <laughs> I think you need to mix in this side. Okay, looks great. So now what are we gonna do? So we're gonna let, it, let the gelatin absorb the water and Heat it up in the microwave for five minutes. And this is how um so I mean five it. seconds. Five seconds, not five minutes. Five okay, seconds. So these are already done. Uh -huh. Oh, so it cute. feels nice. I know. Because if you put it uh, for five Okay, so minutes. now we're just gonna hit this one so for five seconds to melt it, and now we're gonna coat our balloons. Yep. Alrighty. Because if you put it for ten seconds, it's gonna start popping. So we heat up our um, gelatin for 15 seconds and it's perfect. And that's when, and if it starts to get hot, just put it for five more seconds. Yes. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get our balloon. We're gonna dip it in here. Actually, we're, not, we're covering it up. Let me see it in. Okay, show it in. So you just need to coat the whole balloon. So how many times do you need to coat your balloon? Two. Two times. Well, the thicker, the more times that you coat it is the thicker that it's gonna get. So if you only do one and when you pop your balloon, it's gonna break. So at least do two. I think that's enough, Ian. Nice, Aileen. Is this ready? Mm-hmm. Can you do it? Uh-huh, because look what happens if you let it drip the other way. You're getting a little um, drop. So dip it again in your, in, your, in your gelatin. 
getting dull. So when you guys do this at home, do it like that. You let it drip where your little stick is, and you see you get the drops in here. You don't get them in your balloon. Look, it turned orange. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> So we finish with our coating. Yeah. Oh, they look amazing. They look so, so cool. you see this one? Eileen didn't check the temperature of her gelatin. So it was already turning into gelatin. So that's how that one, you know, turned yeah. out. So make sure you check. And we had a few. This is another one. So make sure you check the temperature mm. of your gelatin so you won't have that issue. Or make sure you have enough balloons in case that happens, you blow more. So we're going to leave our gelatin balls to dry 24 hours and then we'll show you the next step. Yes. Oh, and we're using a K-pop holder. That's a very good um, technique. Yes. To, and if you don't have one, you can use a box. And you can just poke the holes. Like we have done that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll show you what to do tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Our gelatin balloons are dry, and now we're going to show you how to pop them. So you have to pop the balloon. And then you pull it out. Yes. As you can see, it's coming out. As it's losing air, it just pops out. <laughs> So it just sounds hilarious when it goes. And if you have those little see? dents, you just you just and stick. you have to do the same to all of your balloons. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, it's so shiny. Shiny. Yeah. oh, that was quick. Oops. Oops. People rolling away. <laughs> I'll go get two. The more coats you do. The, the thicker it gets. You see, this one is not too citrus, and this, this one. one is. Yep. So this is how our cake looks. Um, these are our balloons. So all you need to do to put them on is you get a stick, you stab the stick into the cake, and then you put your balloon like this. But don't do it too hard. And because you will break them. In the them. same spot, and it's just gonna like crack in the middle, and you don't want that. Nope. Your cake looks amazing, guys. And the doll we made is out of fondant and that's frosting. And yes. they will find the recipe in here too? Yes. Okay. So we hope you like our um, hybrid buttercream frosting, gelatin balloons, and, and our cake recipe. A strawberry and cheesecake. cheesecake. Amazing. And can we make some fun? Sure, we will. I'm sure they want to see our flan so recipe. Stay tuned for our <laughs> stay tuned for our flan recipe. Bye, Mrs. So, you subscribe, this is a big, big thumbs, thumbs up and ring the bell. bell. Ding out with a smile, smile on your face. Bye. Bye. Can I have some cake? No, no not yet. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.